Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how you can monitor web pages behind login and password using Distill Cloud Monitors. Distill has the provision for you to save cookies on the website so that you don't have to re-enter your login details and can easily monitor web pages that sit behind login forms. For this, you'll need to create profiles on Distill. Let me show you how you can do that. When you're on your Distill watch list, you will find a hamburger icon. When you click on it, you will see multiple options in the drop down. Here, click on profiles. When you click on profiles, you will be navigated to the profiles page where you can add a new profile. In my example, I want to track uh, the daily usage of Distill. For this, I have logged into Distill. You can see I'm logged into my account. And in the analytics section, I want to track the daily usage page. So this is the page that I want to track and this sits behind the distill login form. So let me go ahead and set up a profile and then set up a monitor to track this particular page. For this, I will go ahead and key in a new profile name. In my case, I will call it distill demo. And when I click on add new profile, it opens up a remote browser and you can use this to navigate to your login page. Now this should open up the distill login page. Here I'm going to key in my uh, username and password. Now the remote browser is signing me in. I will now go ahead and click on save cookies and close. You will see that my newly added profile appears here. Now let me go ahead and use this profile to set up the monitor on this particular page that sits behind my digital login. For this, I will click on add monitor, click web page. And here I will choose the profile that I recently created. It was called Distill Demo. It's going to help me log into Distill because I've saved it. Now I'll go ahead and paste the URL of the analytics page. Uh, it's going to show the daily usage data of my account. Now the visual selected is loading to open up that page. It will successfully open up the page because the profile has helped me log in to my account and you can see that this is the view that you saw earlier when I show you, showed you the page when I had logged into my account. Now let me go ahead and use the visual selector to make a selection on this page. I want to track this particular section. I'll go ahead and save my selections and save my monitor. It should appear in my watch list. Let me go ahead and run this monitor and you should see a preview of the daily usage section that I had selected. There you have it. So this particular monitor is using the profile that I created to help me log into my account and track this particular web page that sits behind that login. I hope this video helped you understand how you can use profiles and note that this is possible on cloud monitors. This is an indicator that this is running on the cloud. For more details on profiles, I will leave a link to the digital documentation page where you can understand more about profiles.